This is Duke University. build any schools unless we get a commitment from the government that the teachers are provided. So what we ask for is one teacher per classroom. We typically build about six classrooms, sometimes seven classrooms, and we have never yet got a full complement of teachers. We're always one short. So if we ask for six, we get five. If we ask for five, we get four, and so on. But quite honestly, when you get five teachers out of six, you've hit the jackpot. Believe me, you have hit the jackpot. It, it's really good enough. The community then kind of get together and they band together and get the sixth teacher. So there's really five and one kind of thing. That sixth teacher never knows what's going to happen because that teacher only has one year because nobody knows what happens the next year from the point of view of funding and what have you. So that poor teacher is kind of untenured. <laughs> A school can, we built five schools in 07 and we're going to build eight to 10 officially. I can tell you we're going to build 12. And we're going into three African countries next year, and we will build 20 schools there. So altogether, next year, we might build 30 to 35 schools in all, okay? Which, for, for us, is, is just great. Um, how we do it, by the way, is um, we've kind of committed a heresy, and we've we said we don't want the community involved in building schools because they'll never build them. We do not give the material to communities and then stand back and watch them not, not build it. We do not give the community materials and stand back and watch it used for other things instead of a school. So what we do, um, we hire our own con construction crew. They go in and they build a school in 45 days. So from zero to 45 days, you have a school. Uh, Dixon, our project manager, who, uh, recently wanted to create a new record of building a school in 40 days. I did not know about this, and he has co almost a complete free hand. So when I went out there and we had the official opening, all of a sudden he's apologizing that he failed to build a school in, in 45 days. And I'm saying, what the hell is going on? Who cares? 45 days, 40 days. It's still a miracle. And um, he stood up and he said, look, the reason why we failed is that on the second week of the construction, when the crew came on site, a herd of elephants had drank all the water from the water tank. <laughs> and it took five days to replenish. And I kind of said, that's a new version of the dog ate my homework, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but it was true. It was actually true. <laughs> In fact, that story was so funny from a HP point of view that on the official opening, and I swear to God, keep this secret, switch that camera off. Uh, <laughs> on the official opening, they wanted to get an elephant and bring it to the school. <laughs> I'm not making this up, guys. <laughs> so what we do, we provide classrooms, bathrooms, solar park, computers, printers, internet, and training. That's what we, we provide. Um, it's for anyone who think, and by the way, most of the kids, no, I'm sorry, all of the kids have never touched or seen a computer live in their life. They might have seen, one might have seen a computer if a visitor ever comes to their village. They might see it, but they've never, never touched it. So I was talking to the kids one day and we were telling them about computers and they're looking at me, I might have to talk a foreign language. So one of them says, do you have one with you? And I'm kind of annoyed that I do because the damn thing is too heavy and I'm kind of lugging it around and throwing. And these kids are looking at miracles. So I take out the, the Mac and I, I open it and I boot it up and there's, a, I think, about 100 kids around and they're looking at this. And I have a photograph and I will give $100 to anyone if they can find a computer in the photograph. <laughs> it's just vanished. The heads, I mean, these kids were reading upside down. I can't do that. They're, they're, they're just incredible. And for anyone who thinks... For anyone who thinks that by giving a computer to a child who has never seen, touched, or even looked at a computer, and that we're starting from way behind, let me tell you, we've put computers into classrooms with boys and girls who've never touched them. And I tell you, within five minutes, they have intuitively got it. I didn't get it, and I was kind of brought up with computers. It took me, I mean, I, I'm just dumb about them, right? But these kids, so what we tried to do, we tried to do, instead of introducing Word and spreadsheets, which kind of is, isn't fun, we, so we introduced how to take a photograph and how to put it in, 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 and how to manipulate a photograph and how to take some film and how to manipulate film, and then how to make a website from that. And that's kind of entertaining in, in a sense. 
But they're looking at the miracle of this. They're looking at the miracle of using a camera and taking... One of the things that I was astounded, one kid was seeing himself live on film, and he's sitting here, and he was going to say, what am I doing here, and what am I doing here? <laughs> he's seen himself in photographs, but moving film, total mystery. Produced by Duke University. Online at duke.edu. Thank you.